Hey guys, so I just got done riding this Kawasaki KLX 230 all day and um, it's been really great. What a neat little bike. It's an air-cooled 230cc, single cylinder, single overhead cam, two valve, six-speed fuel injected little bike. I mean, it's, it's neat. You know, if your friend has a 450 KTM, you're not going to have a good time riding with that person. But if, if two people have this bike, you're going to have just literally too much fun. Laugh out loud in your helmet, gooning, just having a really good time. Yeah, compliant. That is so fun. That might that bike must be the one I had. Because you're way faster on it now. Or is that because you're just full of pizza? Good, right? Okay, I didn't think you were here. Oh, uh, you guys were like I know. almost touching. Because <laughs> you're just like, I'm right there, and Ryan's right there, and like, I get a little wheelie, and Ryan gets a little fucking air out of it, and then like, you're just like, Wah! Dude, I, I really think I'm the greatest K KLX 230 rider on the planet. <laughs> you know, I have that DR200 and that KTM 250, and this bike slots itself right in between those two, but what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to, to have a bike that you can ride and take places that's not going to feel like a kid's bike and maybe you're short on the inseam the seat height that this bike lists itself at is not what it feels like at all and that's part of why a small displacement motorcycle is fun because they're forgiving you can really start pushing your your limits and not make a mistake that's going to cause you to go off the road or come into a turn too hot or loop it or whiskey throttle somewhere this bike is super forgiving for all that stuff now the bike is all new. The motor's all new, the steel perimeter frame is all new, the suspension, the bodywork. It's got a little KX inspired stuff on it and that oversized headlight, which looks pretty cool. You know, all this stuff was put together by Kawasaki to build this street legal bike that you're gonna be able to take from you know your home to a trail. You'll be able to ride it around and, and do the thing uh, and, and like not have to worry about, you know, oh, I have to go across the road or, or I have to get there, but like I need a license plate. This bike has all that. Now, as far as like a lightweight adventure bike goes, there's people who want to build, you know, a smaller liquid cooled dirt bike and then take it adventure riding. But what you end up with is like a race bike or something that's really aggressive and tuned really hard. And then you try to detune it. And this bike is already set up for all that. So I don't think this bike makes a lot of sense for somebody who wants to have a race bike. It's, it's not that. This bike's more of a rock around town or you know, just do gravel roads until the cows come home. You know, so who's this bike really built for? It's built for somebody who wants a small, either adventure bike or small 
city bike, or maybe it's just a bike you keep around the farm. You know, if you got this country house and you want to ride it around, this bike's going to start every time. Like I've got that DR200, uh, that's my own bike, but that bike is not this bike. That DR200 is way under suspended. The frame is just too soft. The motor is not even close to as strong as this. You know, we had these bikes at the rev limiter uh, or speed limiter, which is 76, 77 miles an hour. My DR200 might break 50 on a good day. So that's how much that fuel injection and how much a little bit of technology and, and you know, being a newer motorcycle really goes. So, you know, this, I wouldn't want to take it down the highway, but you could take it down to the next exit if you needed to. And that's important. The fuel injection works in it really well. And then it even has this monitoring system where it monitors what the RPM's at. So if your RPM drops too low and the bike's going to stall, this bike will actually give itself a little bit of revs. It's not a ride by wire, so I don't know how it does it, but it'll rev itself up a little bit and it'll prevent itself from stalling out, which is a really nice feature when you're looking at who's gonna buy this bike. It's gonna be somebody who's an intro rider, somebody who's getting into it, or maybe somebody who just doesn't have the confidence to go from you know, 140cc KLX or a smaller dirt bike up to a bigger bike that's street legal. I think this bike will be one of those things like, yeah, I had one of those and I still have it and it still runs 20 years later. Um, I can't speak to the longevity of it because I didn't put 30,000 miles on it, but that's what Kawasaki built into this bike. It's a lot of longevity and a lot of stability. On the road, this bike handled really well. Like, you know, even at my weight and size, like my DR200 would just squirm down the road and my KTM 250 that I have doesn't even want to be on the road that fast. It just doesn't like it. Whereas this, super smooth, a lot of tractable, linear power, and the thing just wants to be ridden. And as long as you're not trying to go down the highway, it's a ton of fun. Where it's gonna fall short is if you try to push it super hard. And I really like what Kawasaki's built here. And, and the price point at sub $5,000, whether you get the ABS or not, is amazing. Where else are you gonna get all this stuff sub $5,000? You get disc brakes front and back. You can get the model with ABS, which is actually like a detuned ABS. So it's, you can't shut it off. And it, it just has like an off-road mode to it. So it's not as finicky as say like a street bike would be if you took it off-road but it just has one setting, super simplistic, you know, and that's this whole bike's thing. It's very simple. It's gonna be super easy to work on. Your maintenance costs are gonna be nil. You know, when you decide to rebuild the suspension or if you need to upgrade springs, that stuff's gonna be pretty easy to do. Um, I think it's a great intro kind of bike to, to motorcycling, but also if you don't wanna be intimidated by your motorcycle and you need to step up from that 140 to a 250, but you don't really like that jump or, and you don't wanna go 350, this bike makes a lot of sense because that small 230 cc jump is going to be fantastic for people and like i said the linear power that this thing has and combine that with the six speed transmission you know it'll climb anything it never ran out of any steam we even hit some really big elevation out here we're in oregon and it it just keeps climbing it sure it's not at a frantic pace but that's not what this bike's all about um i hope this helps you guys out i've also written a review for adv pulse so we're going to link that below and I don't know, hopefully I'll see you guys out there. I'm tired. What are you, what are you doing over there, dude? You good, bro? I think, can you, can you get out of the way? I gotta, sh there we go. Yeah, this is how moto journalism's done. <laughs>